Hey, hey oh, oh, wait, oh, look, that's my music. I've got to stop it. I wonder, uh, here we, come on, stop. Stop the music. There we go. There's the music. Stop. No, now it's going. Hold on a second. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off my audio altogether. Hold on a second. There we go. Disconnect. I don't want to pair it. I want off. I want to turn my phone off, my audio off. Close my earphones off. Come on. Turn them off. It won't turn. Okay, power off. Okay, can you uh, can you still hear me? Uh, can you hear me, everybody? Just let me know, somebody, if you can hear me now at this point. Skeeter Johnson, I know, is watching. Can you hear me, Skeeter? Um, let me see. Okay, okay. Somebody's saying they can they can hear me. Okay. Uh, Harlem free Wi-Fi is available nearby. I don't give a crap. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so if you can hear me, I I, 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 I turned off my earphones because I think I, the audio was going the other day through the earphones and it didn't sound all that good. So uh, I figure, what the hell. Anyway, I am doing something which I said I wasn't going to do and that's posting something on Facebook. But if I'm going to do these things live from the park, I can only do it through Facebook. Yes, I can do it through YouTube, but it screws up my whole YouTube thing and... I don't, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, uh, I thought I would post this today because I, yesterday I said that I wasn't going to post anything to, to uh, Facebook. And outside of these and my Monday show, which are necessities that I have to do through here, uh, I am going to uh, uh, do it. Hold on a second. I have to do one other thing. I have to stop my... Uh, oh, okay. I did stop it. All right. I have to stop my watch. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm not posting anything to YouTube any longer is that every time I say anything that is counter what somebody else feels, all of a sudden I lose subscribers. Uh, it's not so much that I lose subscribers. I mean, I've been losing subscribers for years now, and I keep adding new ones who want to join, and it always comes out to 5,000, which is the limit. Um, and it's not that I have an obsession with that. Uh, if I didn't do anything, I'd probably only be down to like 4,800 after all these years of not being on Sirius XM. But I keep adding people every time I lose people because I don't want also those people to quit to be able to get back in. Uh, I figure, fuck them. They don't want, want me fine. But yesterday I said something about, I just, you know, was talking about the Cuomo thing. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, I noticed I lose three people. Well, that just kind of pissed me off. It made me feel that, you know, I don't have a right here to see, say what I feel. And if you're coming to my Facebook page, I suppose part of the reason you're coming is because you want to hear how I feel about stuff. So uh, yesterday, I just got so fed up with it. I said, I'm never going to post anything again to this uh, Facebook page. Well, here I am, okay? Because I have to in order to do these park things. Um, I did not post my show last night. The reason being that, number one, a lot of people don't watch it here. They go over to YouTube to watch it, where all my shows are always available after they've been on. So you should go over to YouTube for that. But I'm, I didn't post the show last night, and nobody complained about it, and usually the numbers aren't that high. I get about maybe 30 people, if I'm lucky, who watch it on Facebook. So I don't need to post those. And why should I post my opinion when all of a sudden I get all these trolls coming along and, uh, and doing their, their worst? Um, I know uh, 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 Carrie Lynn Nelson says, I have an absolute right to speak. It's your page. And you are thoughtful in sharing your, your reasons. And I, I, am, I appreciate that. But, you know, something like the, uh, the Cuomo thing, I don't know if that was controversial. You know, that I was basically saying, let the guy decide what he's going to do and don't hasten it. That Schumer is anti-American, obviously, because he doesn't want to allow the process to go through. He just wants somebody to quit. 
because it's in his best interest with his voters for doing that. Here's what I'm hoping. If he doesn't get impeached, which I don't think he will at this point, Andrew Cuomo can run for office again. And I'm seriously hoping he runs for Schumer's spot or for Gillibrand's spot, uh, because I think he could probably mop them all over the floor. Gillibrand is the worst. Gillibrand is a sexist fucking pig cunt, all right? Uh, and she is because she is always going after men, always going after men. The way she went after Al Franken. Come on, did Al Franken need to leave the Senate? I don't think so. Not over a gag photo. Give me a break. And how about, uh, how about, uh, let's see here. How about uh, the way she dealt with this particular situation? She is a bitch. She is horrible, and I hope he goes for her seat. Okay, her Senate seat. I think she could win. He could win over her. I think he could win over Schumer, who's getting long in the tooth, and we certainly could use some really liberal thinking in the Senate, which Cuomo represents. I mean, whatever you want to say about Cuomo, he was a liberal. I mean, he was uh, he was a he was a lefty, and um, that's uh, 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 you know. Uh, somebody said, "I'm still mad that Frankenstein had to leave." Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just think he should run for one of those seats and see how he can do. I think he could do pretty well. I think he's got a case against them. What have they done while they were in office? Gillibrand's done nothing. Schumer just sits there and tries to constantly keep on, hold on to his, his tacit power, whatever. So anyway, I was just, I was just really, forget about going back to that. I was really just, uh, upset over all of that. And I may start posting things again. I don't know. I mean, here I am. I'm posting already. And I will post my shows on uh, the live shows on uh, on on Friday, on uh, Monday. But I, you see, the other thing is that what gets me is that um, it's not really uh, 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 well, I, I forgot what I was going to say. See? A senior moment, folks, is, and I'm, you know, I, I had a senior moment today. I was uh, talking with uh, Steve Kravitz, who does my show, okay? And at the end, I said Stephen Pearl, because I also stalked to Stephen Pearl. So I said, uh, so goodbye, Stephen Pearl. And uh, afterwards, he said, you called me Pearl. You didn't call me Kravitz. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, that's a senior moment. But I suddenly realized I'm 81. Am I not entitled to senior moments, or do I have to feel guilty about them? And I've decided that I'm going to be an advocate for getting old. And I'm going to say that I don't have to apologize for that kind of thing. Oh, look, I've got rashes here. It's really hot out today. That's why I've got rashes. But I've also got rashes because I'm getting old. Anyway, so, I mean, I shouldn't have to... Uh, uh, how are you feeling health-wise? I'm a little lightheaded every day because of the medicine that I'm taking, but otherwise, you know, I go to the doctor and he says, you're fine. You know, all the, my, I, I, I have blurry vision from this drug, but my eye doctor said, your vision is perfect. Okay, I have to live with that. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, my, my blood pressure is fine. Everything's fine. Now, that, thank you thank you for asking. You ask an 81-year-old, how's your health? And he'll give you a whole medical workup. Uh, but I, my, my blood pressure is fine. And, uh, you know, I'm a little lightheaded, but it's from this drug I take. But I take a walk every day, and today I'm taking my walk. It's very hot today. Uh, if I pass out, it's not going to be because I'm not in good shape. It's because it's so goddamn hot. What is it right now? I don't even know what it is. I can't look at my watch and talk to you at the same time. But I, I really, um, my health is fine, you know, I, I hope. Uh, senior moment a minute ago meant Franken. Autocorrect was Frankenstein, and I missed that. Oh, I see. Okay, Corey Lynn. Corey Lynn typed in Frankenstein, but she typed in Franken and autocorrect automatically corrected it to Frankenstein. And if you don't stop right there, when you see that it's trying to correct it, it just puts in the Frankenstein. Autocorrect, another thing we don't need in this society. 
anyway, I, I, you know, overall, I just think that we got to lighten up, folks. This is only a Facebook page. And uh, uh, fuck anybody who doesn't like what I have to say, because it's my opinion. Uh, but it, it's my opinion, and they shouldn't be so serious about it. But there are people that just... They're on their haunches, trolling out there, waiting for somebody to say something they disagree with and then pouncing on it. And I'm sick of that. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue with my walk if I can survive the heat. I have another, oh, I don't know, mile to go till I'm home. But it's one of my, my this is my two mile walk that I take. And, um, I don't uh, seem to, I seem to make it okay. I don't have a heart attack or anything like that. Or, you know, I just have the lightheadedness from the drug. And as I walk and sweat, it gets better. So we'll leave it at that. Anyway, everybody have a really nice day out there. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in New York. It is hot, but it is beautiful. And, uh, you know, uh, when I die, which could be, you know, it could be any moment. You know, at my age, you never know. Uh, but uh, uh, the one thing I'm going to miss is the next day. Okay? That's the biggest thing I'm going to miss. And I think that's the biggest thing we'll all miss in life when we're gone is the next day. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.